Hey, it's Keith. How are you been? I know we haven't connected in a while, but I want to share a couple things that I believe can help everybody. So for those of you that know, I've been living out of the country for about three months. And I've been living on, in Bali, in Indonesia. And I've really had a fantastic time uh, working with clients remotely and just really meeting some amazing people and learning about the culture. But one of the things that uh, people ask me a lot, I say, you know, Keith, why aren't you on social media? Why aren't you involved in the conversation? And I said, you know, maybe I will soon. But it really, as I be a witness, and I, as I am a witness to what's happening in social media, um, one of the things that's disappointing as a human being first is that uh, it's very polarizing. And I think it's fantastic that social media gives us an opportunity and a place to express ourselves. But I don't know if we always do it um, constructively. And this doesn't mean we don't need to agree with each other. I just think that we've kind of um, sometimes lowered the bar when you realize the correlation between technology and uh, our humanity that seems to be going the opposite direction. So what's the answer for that? Well, my personal feeling is it's always imp important to me to always go out and meet new people and not just within my tribal circle, so to speak. And it doesn't mean you have to travel like I did to Indonesia or anywhere, although it can be helpful. Um, what I'm saying is if we look at some of the big challenges in the United States in particular or first world countries versus developing countries like where I'm at, um, is that we've really kind of run into a bunch of things like uh, values, um, dignity, um, morality. Um, we get to this heavy layers of judgment and it can be again very polarizing. And we see it in the political spectrum, we see it in sports, we see it in entertainment in lots of ways. And I think one of the one of the considerations that we all should have is to go find somebody that doesn't share your values. Maybe uh, you worship a different god, or maybe you worship a different political system. Uh, maybe it's time to get together with those people and sit down and talk. And then I think once you peel away those layers, you'll find that there's a lot of similarities. Clearly, there's a lot of things in politics or religion that you're not going to agree with. But invariably, you know, humanity, we all kind of believe the same, right? We might look different, speak different. We all want to take care of our families, have clean drinking water, have food, and go to work every day. And to me, those core foundational things about humanity, I think we're kind of forgetting. And uh, I'm not sure why, but I really believe that, um, again, social media is fantastic for different reasons. In other ways, I think it isolates people. And um, we've even read that, you know, young kids today, teenagers, don't want to talk anymore, they'd rather text. I think what that really is, what it, the underlying thing is, it's protection, right? We want to protect ourselves. So we'll invariably do things to not get hurt, right? Um, and on the other side of the extreme, you'll see a lot of aggressiveness, uh, maybe in social media. That's the other side of being hurt, just kind of expressing it in a very different way. So I really want the best for you and for everybody because, again, we're all in this little 11,000 mile per hour spinning a little ball in the middle of the planet, in the middle of the universe, and this planet has to survive with all of us on it. And we all really need to work together. And I find lately it's been um, really disappointing to see um, how we're conducting ourselves. And I'm not pointing blame, I'm saying we're all contributing to the problem or the solution. And so we need to, I think, express more compassion and empathy for others when we don't have it, and to be more kind when we don't feel people deserve it and um, to go beyond some of those things. And if I catch myself, I try to say, wow, I'm sorry. And I think that's the hardest thing to do today um, because you know we all wanna be strong in this very hyper-competitive world. But it requires courage to something different. And again, living in Bali here, I can tell you that the, the people are just magical. They have their own struggles. Um, they have their own kind of triumphs. Some of the cultural things are just fantastic, what they've held on to. Um, and I think there's certain little elements here that we could actually export to other places and kind of create this, you know, symbiosis of sorts to get people back to what's really important, which is people. It's not about stuff. And we've kind of, I think maybe in America, chased stuff um, versus chasing relationships. And I think maybe stuff is easier because it's inanimate. I also feel like that's why people have lots of pets today because they love you unconditionally. Maybe the bigger question is why aren't we loving ourselves unconditionally? and being okay with who we are. And I said to somebody the other day when they were struggling with a particular project, I said, you know, just be okay with not being okay for now and you'll get through it. And um, as Joseph Campbell famously said, which I always enjoyed, was following your bliss. So 
how can we follow our bliss and not do harm to others? And that requires you know, some relearning and some new tools and resources. But again, uh, maybe one of the simple ways to do this is to get out of your comfort zone, go to the part of your town, go to another country if you can, go meet some people that maybe don't think the same as you, don't speak the same as you, maybe you can find somebody to help interpret, um, and just you know learn something new. And I think when we're also in that learning mode, something magical happens because we're not upset, right? We don't have time to be upset. Almost like when I tell people that if you're really upset, go for a walk. It's really hard to be angry going for a walk. I think it's also hard to be angry when you're learning about somebody else because you've gone from anxiety to curiosity and that's really a transformable pendulum swing. And I think those are some of the simple things we can do to get out of our rut and to maybe, I don't know, we, I feel like we need like a calendar day of the be kind day. And I know in Bali and in Indonesia, which is really amazing on this particular island, they have like a silent day where nobody talks, um, people stay home, it's probably difficult for the hotels and things. But uh, I think it's really important for all of us to get back to being centered. Because I think social media has gotten us outside of ourselves. Um, and a lot of things have gotten us outside of ourselves. And our instincts are what they are, right? And we kind of sometimes behave at a very low level where we know instinctually, you know, it's a pretty safe world out there today. And unfortunately, the new saber tooth tiger is that rustling, not in the bushes, but it's kind of the news. And sometimes it is social media. And we tend to react a lot versus responding. Anyway, thanks for listening. Please share this message. And um, let's all work to make this place better because we only have one of them. Take care.